name is Annika Jess, currently employed in Irving ISD, a suburb of Dallas, Texas. As we wrap up the last four weeks of research, including the Internet's impact on education, my current district's technology program, the student information services that we've purchased for use, as well as the classroom technology implementation and model classrooms, it is apparent that technology is the driving force for engaging rigorous instruction. In considering the early days of internet implementation and education, I remember all too well the difficulties of um, incorporating the internet, the introduction of it into education. I think that I was a sophomore in high school and we were given a research project to utilize the internet for researching topics rather than going to a nearby library or the school library. Um, in which case I used to use encyclopedias or I would use the librarian for a resource, but it was a requirement that I had to use the internet at that time. And I didn't really know that there was such a thing as a search engine. All I knew was that there was a URL address that you could type in whatever the URL um, was, but I didn't have any, any of that. So all I knew was, let me just see if I can type my topic into the URL section and I hope that it works. Uh, five or six hours later, um, I'm still having an extreme amount of difficulty and I just remember thinking I could have finished this project in an hour if I could have just gone to the library. So needless to say, while that was a horrible first experience, um, I realized that I just needed to seek some training, um, some additional resources or utilize the librarian or my teacher. Um, I was just a little bit too hard-headed and thought I'm gonna figure this out and it just took a long time. So needless to say um, and through that awful first experience and through the technology woes, um, you know I'm thankful that I was able to uh, recognize the importance of technology and um, and when we consider this day and age um, from a teaching perspective it's technology is mainstream you can't succeed um, or have as much student achievement or student success without using some sort of a technology device or program with an instruction pretty much on a daily basis um, we also now recognize that the internet saves time um, not only when, it, when researching topics, but also providing a wealth of resources in that short period of time that you're searching. Additionally, all paperwork can now be saved electronically, and that saves on paper consumption. Okay, moving on to Irving ISD's Long Range Technology Program. Based on approval from Irving ISD's Board of Trustees, TEA, and all funding sources, Irving has set a budget of approximately $13,300,000 per year to enhance technology integration within the classroom. As technology is an ever-evolving educational tool and asset in today's society, Irving ISD is intentional on meeting technology demands in four categories. These categories include teaching and learning, educator preparation and development, leadership, administration, and support, and infrastructure for technology. Irving ISD intends to achieve several goals under the teaching and learning category, making technology uh, transparent in every classroom, ensuring all pre-K through 12th will be supported with a personal computing device, allowing students to be responsible for their own learning, using teachers as facilitators, and making sure technology will be accessible and in working order at all times, enables learning to happen anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Um, regarding the goals for educator preparation, Irving intends for administrators and campus leaders to lead by example in their use of technology. Additionally, each teacher should create at least one tech goal per year. Teachers are to be prepared for conducting classroom activities with a variety of tools and multiple devices, and professional development should include application of knowledge or proof of classroom implementation. Regarding administrative support, the district plans to continue using technology as a means of providing information to parents and the community, plans to move toward paperless environment, and plans to update systems regularly to support departmental functions. And finally, in order to meet the demands of our tech-savvy students, uh, the district needs to increase internet bandwidth, needs to upgrade video conferencing and broadcasting systems, and move toward a one-to-one -one student computer ratio. 
Um, in considering the lengthy list of technology goals, the district has done an excellent job of budgeting funds and obtaining fund sources to enhance our technology equipment, skills, and training for the purpose of proper classroom implementation. According to Irving ISD's long-range technology plan, the single most important factor in determining the success of technology in the classroom is a teacher who is able to utilize technology to enhance instruction. Irving is appropriating proper funds, time, training, and allocating desired resources to achieve the goals of increased technology implementation to prepare students to be productive citizens of an increasingly complex informational society. And speaking of students, that brings us to our student information systems portion. Um, let's see. At, up to this point, Irving ISD has spent approximately $500,000 on a variety of uh, programs and software that are utilized um, for student information systems. So also, um, Irving provides an instructional technology specialist as well as a campus technician on every campus to assist with technology integration and to troubleshoot any software, hardware, or connectivity issues. These two positions prove necessary based on the number of student system resources used. And um, in Irving ISD, apparently, they believe the more the merrier. We use at least seven, if not more, systems that every new teacher um, and every veteran teacher needs to be trained on. Most of them have been new within the last five to six years. Um, there are a few that have been used longer than that, but an initial wave of uh, new programs took over, and so everyone was required to attend a lot of upfront training. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into those seven, if not more, systems. First is Eduphoria Aware, which houses our district assessments, scores, breakdown of scores by student, uh, teacher, campus, and district. It offers demographic information and identifies special populations such as our SPED and our LEP students. Uh, the second program is INOVA, which predicts pass-fail ratings and annual progress based on statistical tail results. Those tails vary by color and by uh, left side versus right side, so it's a lot of information and requires a lot of training, but very useful. This program also identifies strike zones, which are testing categories closest to mastery, and aberrant data, which are testing categories where the performance is more than one standard deviation below normal. And similar to Eduphoria Aware, uh, INOVA also identifies demographic information. Then we move to GradeSpeed, which is used to house all uh, student grades and used for attendance tracking purposes. eSchool Plus is used for discipline management, and it's a tracking system for both teachers and administrators when entering behavior consequences. Uh, like the other resources listed above, eSchool also use, uh, or is identified for demographics, subpops, attendance, and grades. So you can see a lot of overlap, but um, I guess Irving's goal is just to provide as many options, even if there's overlapping uh, information, and at least we are not missing any gaps for anything. Um, Primero tracks student and teacher accounts for food purchases through the cafeteria. IEP Plus maintains academic records, IEPs, and all documentation for special education students. And finally, InfoSnap is Irving's online student registration system, which we have moved to recently. Last year was our first year to implement online registration um, completely, and it went pretty well. Most of the resources that we use are user-friendly, but require extensive initial training, as mentioned before, and annual training updates to be utilized most effectively. Uh, in the event that a teacher or administrator has difficulty accessing documents for any system, Irving ISD provides a help desk email option for any software troubleshooting issues. Rather than having teachers contact the individual vendor um, and their help desk, Irving filters the severity of the need in-house and then follows up with the appropriate next step. Um, an exemplary student information system offers the foundational support required for teachers to make data-driven decisions. Faster feedback and better quality of information at the district level can be the means to create a rapid implementation model of instruction design where continuous monitoring and assessment provide direction for classroom instruction. That is based on um, goal, uh, the author Golden for making strides with educational data. Okay, 
Let's see. Uh, as we consider model classrooms and we forecast what they will look like in the near future, three areas are considered for effective technology integration. So those three areas include the types of devices, appropriate lessons and activities which are aligned to standards and curriculum, and finally professional development required to support teachers in their efforts to incorporate technology. Um, when we think about personal devices, uh, Irving ISD only provides a one-to-one -one student ratio at the high school level, and so middle schools and elementary schools are expected to share, um, whether that's teachers, housing, laptop carts, or iPad carts, and um, you know systems where shared technology between two or more teachers is provided. But we also, even though we don't have a stated bring your own device uh, policy, students bring them and teachers have the ability to utilize them at, at their own will. Um, okay, so personal devices, um, the author Mills says that uh, he believes the simple act of students using their coveted devices for study purposes makes learning more acceptable to them and to their peers. Um, so the Horizon report has mentioned that a near-term horizon would be to include uh, lessons at using mobile devices on a regular, consistent basis. Um, also, the Horizon report mentioned that learning analytics and open content will be within the near future in a mid-year or a mid-term. So within two to three years, we're expecting to see a lot more um, programs, which Irving ISD already uses a program called MAPS for both math and for reading that uh, incorporate the learning analytics technology. So basically, um, MAPS is a screener where our students will start at the same question no matter what grade they're in, 6th, 7th, or 8th grade, same question, and then based on their correct responses, the, the questions get harder, or based on incorrect responses, they'll get easier. So um, after the student finishes that test, then the Lexile level report will come out for reading or math will provide um, what... Uh, learning objectives the students have gaps on and um, and we can determine from there what kind of intervention strategies need to be taking place. So this midterm horizon um, Irving ISD is actually already implementing and that's good to know. Um, let's see, according to the horizon report there is a long range or I'm sorry, let me make sure that I haven't missed it. Um, oh, 3D, 3D printing. We do not use 3D printing yet in Irving ISD, but that is definitely something that we would expect to see within probably a five year span. So currently working, uh, working our way towards seeing what the Horizon Report is actually forecasting. Um, okay. At this time, I'm hoping that this has been an insightful peek into Irving ISD's technology plan, also highlighting current programs utilized to increase student achievement. Thank you very much for your time, and all references that have been mentioned can be found on my Google site at the end of each week's assignment. Thank you so much.